here we're going to demonstrate the technique for the fibular nail. The landmarks are basically the lateral malleolus. I can feel the lateral malleolus right here. I'm going to draw the tip of the lateral malleolus. And you basically make an incision that is about 1.5 centimeters beginning at the tip of the fibula, a straight distal. So you open up this and you need to be careful with the perineal tendons that are right there. I uh, typically like to use this device in order to make a, a small uh, entrance in the fibula so then I can move freely around with the uh, K-wire. Now I'm aiming to get inside the metaphysial area of the fibula. We typically do this under fluoro, but I'm going to give it a try to see what it looks like, and then we, we will check under fluoro. It's in the center of the fibula on the lateral view, as you can see there. Now you see the small incision here, 1.5 centimeters. You need to protect the perineal tendons as well as the soft tissue, so we will use this um, sleeve. And look at the drill. It's a six millimeters drill, and we're going to get in about four centimeters, which is about the length of the drill. See, I can, uh, I can still go in about one more centimeter. So now that we have done this, we can remove the K-wire. You can use two sleeves in order to see what size of a, of, a, of a nail you're going to use. And you need to have a sense that you are inside the canal. So I'm going to double check again this is what you want to achieve, that you are inside the fibula, the lateral view, and the AP view. You have two uh, sleeves, and it makes you decide what kind of, uh, what size of a uh, nail you're going to use, because you have two uh, width, and each one has three lengths. In this case, we're going to use this small one, and you can see the way it is uh, set. It has the nail. It is attached to this uh, AP guide for the, for the distal locking screws. And this long guide is going to be for the proximal locking sc screws. Now I turn it around the way it is going to be. You can see that the nail has a small curvature that it goes with the anatomical shape of the fibula. Not easy to see just looking at the skin if you are deep enough. So you need again to double check that you are inside. You can see in the x-rays that the nail is almost completely in and you have this proximal locking screws in a situation in which you can use one and maybe the other one and these two distal ones are actually inside the fibula so this is okay we can still make it a little bit deeper which is actually what I'm going to do and this part of the guide is going to let us put the um, the locking distal screws using the guide as you can see here it has uh, holes specifically to be able to aim. Now we put the, the sleeve that protects the skin. This is also going to help you to measure the length of the screw. And this is very important because the screw is supposed to go through the nail and it has to reach the posterior cortical bone of the, of the fibula, but the screw doesn't have to go all the way backwards 
because you want to prevent damage to the perineal tendons. So let's try uh, number 20. Right there, the screw is inside the hole. And let's see from lateral. Yeah, it's just barely passing, trespassing the posterior cortex, which is perfectly fine. Okay, so now this is the most important part. This is a specimen, so there's no fracture. So you typically apply traction, distraction, in order to gather length, the normal length. And then you typically rotate internally because most of these fractures are externally rotated. And once you have done that, you need to fix the proximal locking screws. And that's precisely what we're going to do right now. So we will use the proximal locking one. You can use either one or you can use both. These are, as you see here, are stab incisions so are minimally invasive and we again put the protection sleeve this is the measuring device that when you have a feeling of how deep you're going you can measure directly here using the laser mark if if the cortical bone is strong enough you can measure very, in a very accurate way when it's not too strong, like in this specimen, uh, it's not so easy. So we will just guess it's going to be a 22 screw. In order to achieve proximal fixation, you're going to uh, go through the, the fibula and into the tibia. So we're going to remove part of this stuff. You can see that locking screw, screw in the distal uh, fragment and the proximal locking going into the syndesmosis. Of course, you can make that screw much better and much longer. And you can see that the nail is uh, completely inside the fibula. We double check in the lateral view, same thing. As I told you before, this is barely trespassing the posterior cortex. You can make it shorter if you want, but everything is in, in good position. It, I like to compare with the other extremity, so I typically put both legs in the operative field, so I can compare that both ankles look just the same in terms of length and rotation. So now we can take a double look at the incisions. 1.5 centimeter for this big one, half a centimeter for the anterior locking, and half centimeter for the uh, proximal locking screws. And you can add another screw proximal or distal, but I, I typically think that this is more than enough.